In this video, we'll finish the skinning section for the Suffusion theme options. To get to the Suffusion Options dashboard from the WordPress dashboard, hover over the Appearance tab. Click Suffusion Options, and this will take you to the Suffusion Options dashboard. Now, click Skinning, and then in the left navigation menu, click Post Background. For the Post Background customization, you have three options. You can make the background transparent, you can add an image, or you can select an alternative color. So you can see what is affected when you modify this selection. Here's the post background with the background color set to green. Here's a little side note. The best format for your post background will be a white background with plain black text. I know this sounds a bit drab, but content is king on the web, and the most important thing that your visitors can do is read your content. If your visitors have to struggle to read your content, they'll click away. Make your content easy to read and easy to see. Sometime, take a look at the top 20 websites and the basic features that they share. I can almost guarantee that nearly 100% of them will have a post area with a white background and plain black text. The date box for setting a date to your post can be modified from the date box settings. Settings include the theme default, which will match your theme color scheme. You can also set the date box to a specific color, but you'll lose the color gradient set with the theme default. Most of the time, I prefer to hide the date box, which is a setting that is available here. In this section, you can also style the fonts for the month, day, and year that are contained in the date box. The last section of the skinning settings for Suffusion is the custom emphasis element settings. These settings can be used to style an element within a page to give it some emphasis within that page. If you want to use these custom emphasis elements, you'll have to know a little bit about CSS and using class selectors. To use any of these elements, you can enclose text on your blog with several different types of tags. The three most common that you can use are the P tag, the span tag, and the div tag with the class name attached. The custom emphasis elements have four class selectors that you can use for the Suffusion theme. A class selector is simply a word that tells the browser what set of code to use with the cascading style sheet to style the particular element that it is associated with. The four class selectors that come pre-built with Suffusion use the words Download, Announcement, Note, and Warning as the class selectors. Each of these class selectors can be set to the theme styles or to custom styles. If you select custom styles over the theme styles, this will allow you to change the font color, background color, and border color. Let's take a look at how this will be used on a web page or post. Here, I've created a page and have WordPress set to display the text editor. The default editor is the visual editor, so you'll have to click the tab that says text to enter the text editor mode. Text editor mode allows you to see the code that underlies the visual presentation of the web page, and this will allow you to add custom class selectors to the text. I would strongly recommend that you learn to work in the text editor mode when you use WordPress. This will help you learn to understand and use HTML, which is the backbone of how a website is built. If you're not familiar with HTML and you'd like to learn the basics, use the link at the bottom of the article below to find some great videos on the subject. Knowing these HTML basics will enhance your ability to use WordPress and build a nice website. So from the text editor, we'll add P tags to two lines of text, and then we'll add span tags to two lines of text. The P tag is HTML which stands for paragraph. This tag affects the entire page width of the page and everything placed within the tag. The span tag, however, is HTML that is limited to exactly what is within the tag. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. Now, let's add a Suffusion class selector to each one of these. Please understand that these class selectors are just arbitrary words that are used to define some code in your CSS file. First, the Download class selector. Next, the Announcement class selector. Next, the Note class selector. And last, the Warning class selector. Now we'll save this as a draft and preview it in the browser window. 
Notice that the P tag element affected the entire page width and the span tag affected only what was inside the tag itself. The span tag can really be effective for emphasizing one particular word within an element. Now, let's customize just the download class selector. First, we need to set to custom styles. Then, we'll make the font color white, the background color black, and the border red. Now, we'll save these changes and preview the page. You can use these custom emphasis elements to highlight something or to make something stand out from the rest of the page. You can also use this as a type of button that can be made into a clickable text link. In the next video, we're going to skip over and take a look at the other graphical elements section of Suffusion Options.